Um, hello, I'm Emily. I'm Josh. I'm Constantine. Ooh. Yes. Woo! And <laughs> um, so uh, we're gonna talk about, um, well, as we said before, can we all just get along or? Uh, how I learned to stop worrying and love shared space. So uh, the topic of the speaker's corner is called uh, Reclaim Your Street or Reclaim Your Straße. Um, well. Yeah, the only issue that we have with that is uh, I don't have a, a Straße. Do you have a Straße? No. No? no, I don't have a Straße. Does closet. anyone here have a Straße? No? Yes. Well then, yes? yes. Lucky you. Uh, <laughs> so what we decided was, instead of reclaiming your Straße, let's reclaim our Straße. <laughs> yes. So, well that's a good start, but let's take a look at the bigger picture. So cities are made up of diversity and complexity and density. And so that means that there are lots of people doing lots of different things in urban space. If we think of streets in that same way, then streets aren't really for cars or for bikes or for buses or for a particular mode of transport, but for human beings, for people who happen to use many different forms of transport. Yeah, so talking about streets, streets make up 90% of all urban space in Vienna, <laughs> as you see here. Um, so they cannot only accommodate transport, they also have to accommodate public life. So that means there's lots of different people in urban, uh, in urban space that do lots of different activities in the same space. Uh, a local by the name of Camilo Cite a while ago had this, uh, this similar idea. His idea of streets was that they were a public space, they were extensions of public squares. Uh, they should serve the same functions. But that's not really how our streets work today, is it? This one. <laughs> Uh, no, it isn't. Our streets oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, work much more like this. So there are, there are separated spaces. There's division and there's lots of different lanes for all kinds of different modes of transport. But if we look at this, this doesn't seem very urban the way you described it. This doesn't feel uh, dense uh, or this doesn't feel diverse. This doesn't feel complex. Uh, this doesn't feel even especially public. So yeah, there's also an alternative. That's called shared space. So how does shared space work? So with shared space, we basically take away this separation, this division. We make public spaces public. So you allow all the different modes of transportation, but you also allow public life. Uh, it's like if anybody's been on the Gaben in the, in the early morning hours when deliveries are being made. People are walking, people are, are shopping, deliveries are being done by vehicles. Everybody's sharing the same space and it all works. Yes, so this idea of uh, shared space was developed 20 years ago in the Netherlands and has now been implemented in like thousands of streets all over the world. Um, yes, and uh, studies on this uh, shared space show that, this, uh, that they also increase this, or like make this space a social space. They increase public life and whilst doing so, while people like to move along and like spend time in the spaces, they also boost the economy in these places. So you might want to think now, okay, that's all nice, but it's probably end up in a big clusterfuck. Surprisingly, it doesn't. Uh, many of these same studies show that uh, even though this seems like it would make more sense, that when this model is followed, that uh, traffic safety improves because people are paying attention to each other instead of just following their own signal. And actually traffic efficiency often improves as well. The speed is slower, but it's continuous instead of having to, having to stop at signals. More importantly though, this is fundamentally urban. This is about uh, lots of different people in close proximity doing lots of different things and having to negotiate it to make it work. So yeah, let's, let's think about this a moment. Let's, let's, what if we flip this paradigm? What if shared space, which is, um, yeah, or what if separated space that is now the norm um, changes and shared space becomes the, the norm and um, separated space becomes the exception? What if we then, instead of looking at streets or having streets that really function as barriers, almost as walls, if we made them function more as hinges, connecting both sides of the street, connecting neighborhoods to each other, connecting people, allowing people to function in a, in a more public manner, allowing them to serve as the 90% public space that they are. If we reconceived of our streets that way, not as my Straße or their Straße or your Straße, but our Straße, how else might we reconceive the city? Thanks. Thank you. Woo! Woo!